paralegal for over 10 years. And at that point, the lawyer I was working with um, was moving his practice to Vancouver. So I had about a three month period where I was kind of reevaluating. I had two kids, they were two and four, so I needed to think of them. This job opportunity came up and I've had a sports background and with the skills I developed, being a paralegal, I thought it was a good fit. So consequently, I applied, got the job. Um, walking in, we had 15 schools back then. I walked into an office. It was empty. There was a Mac computer on the floor, brand new, which I never worked on. So I got the office set up. Went from there. I think after I did my first volleyball schedule, I thought, what the heck did I get myself into? But consequently, things moved on. So Metro went from 15 schools to 21 schools to 27, and now we're ending at 51. It's an incredible organization. Well, when the job opportunity came up, it was what I had experience in. I had been involved in sports all my life, playing all the sports in high school. Back then, you could do all of them. And I was in between jobs, and it just was a good fit. And it was the best decision I made at the time. Nothing back to me. Hmm. I've always been fair. I've tried to be as fair as I can, regardless of the situation, the athlete, the school, the size of the school. And I think people have recognized that. That I look at the situation and do what's best for the big picture. I think also I've always been respectful of the coaches. Mm -hmm. Their opinion matters. I listen and try to do what I can to help in any situation. It's got nothing to do. Personally, I think one of the most important elements of high school athletics is respect. I think if the players, the coaches, teachers, the spectators, and certainly the officials all have respect for each other in the game, high school athletics is successful. I don't think you can do anything in life and be successful without respecting who you're working with or your opponents. And I've tried to live by that, and I hope I have, and I think it, it is certainly important in that place, and most of the people are very respectful. I'm hoping what I've left behind is that no matter what the situation, good or bad, if everybody works together, you can solve the issues to the best of everybody's ability and people come out happy and I think success. I think high school athletics is so successful in our province and we just continue to give in a little, work with each other, certainly give your opinions and try to work out all the details. That's success and I think I've tried to do that in my role as an athletic administrator. Tell my thoughts to resign. Receiving this award is certainly humbling. Um, I'm very proud, proud of what I've been able to accomplish over the years, but certainly proud of the Metro Athletic Association, how it has grown and what it is today. And I know it will be successful. And I'm certainly grateful. I'm only receiving this award because of the working relationships I've had with so many people, and they have all contributed to this. I think we all have one goal in mind, and that's fair play and equal opportunity for our student athletes. And I've been so blessed to be working with so many incredible people over the years. So this award is shared with them. Foremost is my family, my husband Frank, and my kids Chris and Amy. My kids grew up over the past 27 years, and my husband and kids have certainly been through the good times of high school athletics and they've been through the challenges. Many evenings our kitchen table was covered with papers and my husband would just shake his head and wonder what schedule I was working on that night. In my early days, first year, um, Rick Mooney and Scott Sinclair were incredible supporters. They helped me through that first year and I know I couldn't have done it without them. To this day I'm good friends with them and I just extend a huge thank you for getting me through the first part of this career. The ASA goes without saying, an incredible group of people. When I first started, it was Lauren Wood and Judy Swarry. They welcomed me, they guided me to get Metro working well with the ASA. 
Since then, of course, Shauna Pierman, back then Shauna Hicks, and then John Payton, I've worked with for over 20 years. Michelle Ross, Alicia, Michael, Tyler, before then Linda, Stephen, Shannon, unbelievable people to work with. They all are committed and they all have incredible skills, which most of you are aware of. Finally, the Metro membership. I couldn't have done this without them. The support, the commitment from all of the coaches, the administrators, and other directors. I truly have had a great career because of them, and I couldn't have done it without their support. So to all of you, thank you. I volunteered for Sports Centre for a number of years, and their motto was, it's amazing what can be accomplished when no one cares who gets the credit. And I know all of the people I've worked with over the years, this model applies to them. So thank you and enjoy your high school athletics. <laughs>